uh, right, right up on. Do you want me to hear it? Oh, yes. Do you want to hear it? Now, this... Uh, uh, well... We can always start the... <laughs> they can always start the wedding late, yeah. I guess. <laughs> now, now the, the title of it is, is Bo. That's, that's the name of the dog. He never came to me when I would call unless I had a tennis ball, or he felt like it. But, <laughs> but mo mostly, he didn't come at all. When, when he was young, he never learned to heal or sit or stay. He did things his way. Discipline was not his bag, but when you were with him, things sure didn't drag. <laughs> He'd dig up a rose bush just to spite me, and when I'd grab him, he'd turn and bite me. <laughs> he bit lots of folks from day to day. The, the, the delivery boy was his favorite prey. <laughs> the gas man wouldn't read our meter. He said we owned a real man-eater. <laughs> he set the house on fire, but the story's long to tell. The, Suffice to say that he survived and the house survived as well. And on evening walks, and Gloria took him, he was always first out the door. The old one and I brought up the rear because our bones were sore. <laughs> and he'd charge up the street with Mom hanging on. What a beautiful pair they were. And if it was still light and the tourists were out, they created a bit of a stir. But every once in a while, he'd stop in his tracks and with a frown on his face, look around. It was just to make sure that the old one was there to follow him where he was bound. We're, we're early to betters in our house. I guess I'm the first to retire. And as I'd leave the room, he'd look at me and get up from his place by the fire. He knew where the tennis balls were upstairs, and I'd give him one for a while. And, He'd push it under the bed with his nose, and I'd dig it out with a smile. But before very long, he'd tire of the ball, and he'd be asleep in his corner in no time at all. And there were nights when I'd feel him climb upon our bed and lie between us, and I'd pat his head. And there were nights when I'd feel this stare, and I'd wake up and he'd be sitting there and I'd reach out to stroke his hair and sometimes I'd feel him sigh and I think I know the reason why. He'd, he'd wake up at night and he would have this fear of the dark, of life, of lots of things and he'd be glad to have me near. And now he's dead. And there are nights when I think I feel him climb upon her bed and lie between us, and I pat his head. And there are nights when I, when I think I feel that stare, and I reach out my hand to stroke his hair, and he's not there. Oh, how I wish that wasn't so. I'll always love a dog named Bo.